So, um, the story is basically based on a lot of my experiences as a conflict photographer in the 80s. And uh, it could be a story about this young man out there taking photos, but I wanted to see how we could raise the focus on choosing between a job and your uh, family. And to do that, we felt we need to change the sex and make a woman uh, into the, the film and also see if we could find someone who was able to sort of front the film and lift it out to the wider audience. Uh, and uh, our choice uh, was Juliette Binoche because she's involved in this question. Uh, she's uh, one of the most established uh, ambassadors for a group called uh, Reporter en Frontier. Yes. Uh, and uh, she's been politically involved in this story um, mm. before I came with the script. When she read the script, uh, she loved it. And um, basically, from that point of view, it's been uh, a rough ride, uh, but um, really, really exciting. And if I should just say one word about her, it would be perfection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and uh, we, we really wanted to have her in the movie, and she was uh, uh, been great admirers of her for, for her, all her career. So uh, that's a perfect match. Eric, have you been uh, involved in such situation? Have you been in Afghanistan? Have you been ever hurt doing this kind of job? No, I've never been hurt as she was. But I've been... Uh, Hold on. Hey, how are you? Yeah. Busy. Yeah. Well, no, but really, uh, uh, while you're out there, you do get those close calls. Um, and um, for me, it's, it's, it's basically not a question about being able to survive in being out there, because you do get quite good in, in finding all the rules for uh, being as safe as you can. The hardest thing which this film shows is coming back home, surviving the mundane daily life. Yeah. So that's sort of the film's quest and, um, as and that's as, it. As it says in the movie, the, the one that stays at home has the toughest job. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I have a question for the producer here. Yeah. Uh, it, it seems a very good choice to organize a world premiere of a, fest of a film that has uh, Juliette Binoche that has international uh, ambitions with an international cast and a French big star. It seems a very good choice to select Montreal as your platform. What can, can you explain a little bit your, your reasoning behind what you know about Montreal? I, I heard it's a good festival and it's a good audience festival. And, um, and uh, it was a natural choice for us because the movie was not ready until uh, four days ago. So that was uh, that was uh, the the first uh, opportunity of festival that we could uh, to to go to. That was fast. Yeah. <laughs> it also might you might add that sometimes it's instead of going to Toronto and being one among a lot of movies, you have to fight to get attention. Uh, if you calculate and and try to see if we can get either a price or, um, you know, get a really good bus from here, that will be in Toronto in one that week. continue. And then yeah. suddenly yeah. you will get a lot more attention yeah. there. So it's, it's, a, it's a good, Smart. good who's, strategy. Who's your sales agent? Global Screen selling the movie. Okay. Yeah. All right. We, filmfestivals.com viewers, ourselves, wish you the best of luck for the screening Thank tonight. Thank you. And hope to see you on the ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.